Hi, team. Good afternoon. I would like to explain one of the critical topic, critical interview question while attending the financial functional interviews. If you place the resume with implementation or rollout projects, you can expect the important question. Tell me data migration activities, data migration strategy, data migration for each application. If we discuss data migration, simple, we have the two types of data to migrate from client legacy ERP to Oracle EBS or Fusion ERP. Let me explain master data. Let us take Arabindo company. Arabindo company is the famous manufacturing company. Present they are using some legacy ERP other than Oracle ERP. Now they are moving to Fusion ERP. We have to migrate whatever existed data from legacy ERP to Fusion ERP or EBS ERP. Data migration stage, we will be divide two parts. First one, master data, transaction data. Master data, nothing but, which will allow to store, record critical business information from the organization. It will record in the organization level. Like uh, AR customers, AP, vendors, inventory module products, payroll employees. Master data is the one-time setup which we will migrate. Master data is the very, very relatively stable like vendors, customers. Master data can be shared across business process, transaction, across ledgers, legal entities, be like a supplier profile is the global, then sites comes under B. Customer, pro, customer name is the global, customer build to ship to site comes under B. We have to understand, we need to explain to the business users what to be extracted from legacy and how to get them our expected data. We will prepare a BDA template. We will migrate to Oracle stage by stage. Once if you don't upload master data implementation time, you cannot upload transaction data. Once gone live, they may not be able to see historical data, existing data. So we should upload master data as a mandate. Transaction data, like regular activities happening at organization level, payable invoices, receivable invoices, journal entries. The transaction data is a dynamic. It changes frequently based on organization, based on functionality. Then this transaction data created by business users in the legacy that module wise users will request us, please convert the my invoice data, transaction data to the Oracle ERP. So we should upload transaction data module wise. Best example, AP, payable invoices, unpaid invoices, prepayment invoices, receivables, we will upload outstanding invoices as example. We will migrate the data from legacy to Oracle Fusion through a PDA template, few data through spreadsheet, ADFDA spreadsheet. That like each application wise, what are the objects, what are the like data we should migrate. I already released the one video. You guys can go and watch. I will mention in the description page. Then interview question every day we can expect. Did you work on data migration? Can we upload transaction data without master data? 
what are the data files should upload before transaction data what are the types of data we should migrate in fusion what are the strategies followed to migrate the data what are the precautions should consider before uploading data migration how did you reconcile the data once uploaded what are the templates given by Oracle each module wise? They may raise the question. We should be thorough. We should be ready to give the simple, understandable with the different stages of the explanation. You can easily crack the entry. So if you don't explain these activities, they may feel you did not work for implementation. If you mention implementation rollout in resume, we have to be explained very, very important things. And that strategies, you can easily understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.